So far, viewers of Trivial Pursuit America Plays have won hundreds of thousands of dollars. And before the season's over, we'll have given our viewers over a million dollars. Today could be you. It all starts now. It's time to play Trivial Pursuit. And all across America, viewers are taping their trivia questions to get in the game. What president had a wife whose maiden name was Mary Kay? What is the only James Bond movie to be made more than once? What was one of the first characters? You can play, star, and win on Trivial Pursuit. America plays. Welcome to Trivial Pursuit America Plays, the show that lets you at home get in the game. Just send us your trivia questions and you too can become a member of the American team, giving you a chance to play against our studio contestants for thousands of dollars in prize money. Let's meet the contestants our viewers are hoping to stump today. Paul Bernhardt, an exhibit designer from Houston, Texas. And Jennifer Kelly, our restaurant hostess from Russellville, Alabama. From Queens, New York, it's Chris Simmons, the freelance writer. Welcome to our show. Are you all ready to take on America? Yes. 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 I advise you not to get too comfortable because at the end of this round, somebody will be going home. Aww. Only the first two players to fill their token with three wedges will move on to round two. Now, as you all know, the questions on our show are sent to us by our home viewers, and every viewer today who asks a question will become part of. The American team. Every time any one of you answers one of their questions correctly, the value of the question will go into the studio bank and you will earn a wedge for your token. But if you get the question wrong, then the value goes in America's bank. And at the end of the show, if your bank is higher, then you win and you'll take home all of the money in the studio bank. But if America's bank is higher, then America wins. And in that case, all the viewers today who asked questions will split the money in America's bank. Are you ready to play Trivial Pursuit? Yes! Great! The categories today are... The World, TV, People, Music, Whatever, and Sports and Games. The first question will be an all-play question. Anyone can answer, but you must buzz in before you do. All right, let's go to the randomizer and find out our first category. First category is the world for $250. Again, it's an all-play question. The question is... Hi, my name is Brianna, and I'm from North Hollywood, California. My question is, what famed Italian tower had to be restabilized in 1999? Chris. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yes, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yeah, good, good. All right, Chris, that gives you a wedge. It puts $250 into the studio bank. And Chris, you have control of the next question. The okay. category is? Whatever, for $250, Chris, this is your question. You have control. That means it is your question to answer. But if you get it wrong or take too much time, it will become all play for the other players. Okay. Now, this question, Chris, will be asked by today's team captain. On every show, we invite one member of the American team to join us live to represent all of the home viewers on the American team. Serving as captain today is Dan McClellan, a balloon <laughs> artist from San Diego, California. Oh, Hello, hey, Dan. How you doing? <laughs> ah, so tell me about being a balloon artist. Well, it's a lot of fun, but ever since Wedding Crashers, I always get some smart aleck who says, make me a bike, clown. Well, fortunately, I'm able to counter with one of these bad boys. <laughs> yes! Very, very good! Wearing your product. All right, Dan, why don't you go ahead, just like that, ask your question and direct it to Chris. All right, Chris, what sport did Margaret Abbott play to become the first U.S. woman to win an Olympic gold in 1900? Tennis? <laughs> Golf! Oh. Dan, it must have been the bicycle! All right, our next category is TV. For $300, this will be an all-play question. Question is. Hi, I'm Jenny from San Diego, and my question is, what Fox series did Matthew Fox star as a bar owner named Charlie Salinger? Jennifer. Party of five. Yes. Party of five. All right, Jennifer, that gives you a win. It puts $300 into the studio bank. And Jennifer, you have control of the next question. Right. 
Next category is people for $250. Jennifer, here's your question. Hello, my name is Nat Dinga, and I'm from Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Pablo Escobar, the infamous drug lord, had his base of operations in what country? Nicaragua. Chris. Cuba. Paul. Colombia. Yes, yeah. Colombia. Oh. All right, Paul, now that gives you a wedge and control of the next question. Money went into America's Bank twice for stumping Jennifer and Chris. All right, the next category is. Music for $450. Paul, you've got control. Your question is. Hi, my name is Carrie, and I'm from Woodland Hills, California. What pop performer has the hit songs Gimme More and Slave for You? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Chris. Prince. Jennifer. Britney Spears. Yeah, you're dying for that, were you, Jennifer? <laughs> yes, I give you a Jennifer. Because money went to America. We stuck Paul and Chris up. All right, here's our next category. Sports and games for $350. Jennifer, you've got control, and if you get this right, you are moving on to round two. Your question is... Hi, I'm Dorothy Ward from Kansas City, Missouri. What game are you playing if you encounter Queen Frostine or Grandma Nut? World of Warcraft. Paul. Oh. Candyland? Yes! <laughs> Paul, that gives you a web and control money, however, went to America having stumped Jennifer. Here's our next category. <laughs> TV for $400. Paul, you have control. And with this pink wedge, you could move on to the next round. Your question is... Hi, my name is Karen Raymond. I'm from Las Vegas. What 1960s sci-fi TV series told the story of the Robinson family, a robot, and Dr. Smith? Lost in Space? Yes. <laughs> Lost in Space. Come back, we'll find out who will join Paul in round two and who will be going home. Competition continues when we come back. Welcome back to Trivial Pursuit America Plays. Paul's relaxing because he's already filled his token with three wedges, so he's earned a spot in round two. And now Jennifer and Chris. Are competing to see who will join him. The first player with three wedges will do just that. Jennifer, you have two wedges. Chris, one. Next question will be all play. Let's find out the category. Whatever for four hundred dollars. The question is. I'm Azalea from Long Beach, California. My question is, what car company makes the pickups, the Tacoma and the Tundra? Chris, Chevy. Jennifer, Ford. Toyota. Toyota. That's money twice to America. Our next category is people for $300. This is an all play question. Okay. Hi, I'm Scott from Yorba Linda, California. Here's my question What U.S. president is buried at his presidential library in Yorba Linda, California? Chris. Richard Nixon. Yes, Richard Milhouse Nixon. Chris, that gives you two wedges. Money goes into the studio bank. And now, Chris, you have control of this next question. The category okay. is the world for $350. Hi, my name is Clinton. In what city was the first skyscraper built in 1885? New York City. Jennifer. London. Chicago. <laughs> Money again, twice into America's bank. Here's our next category. Music for $250. The question is. I am Stephanie. I'm from California City, and this is my question. What musician had his daughter star in the music video for Aerosmith's Crazy? Jennifer. Steven Tyler. Yes. Steven Tyler. Liv Tyler being his daughter. All right, Jennifer, that gives you control. It puts some money in the studio bank. Here's our next category. Sports and games for $400. This could do it. Jennifer, your question is. My name is Robin Freedom from Los Angeles, California, and my question is what was the last name of the pitcher for the Dodgers and whose first name was Sandy? 
Chris. Koufax. Yes, Koufax. <laughs> Chris, that is your third match. Congratulations. You're moving on to round two to play against Paul. And Jennifer, thank you for joining us. Let's check the banks. Yeah, America's got a commanding lead. But all of that can change. When we come back, it's time for the Hot Pursuit Round. Don't go away. Now they're in a race to see who will fill their token with all six wedges. That person will take on America in the final round. All right, round two is our hot pursuit round. In hot pursuit, every question is an all play question worth $500. And there are no categories in hot pursuit, so every time you get another question right, you'll get another wedge in your token. And the first player to fill their token with all six wedges will be moving on to the final round. Are you ready to play? Yes. Yes. Here's your first hot pursuit question. Hi, I'm Harrison. I'm from Amarillo, Texas, and here's my question. What animated show takes place in Bikini Bottom? Paul, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you knew that. That's $500 into the studio bank, and here's our next Hot Pursuit question. Hi, I'm Steve Miller from Manhattan Beach, California, and my question is this. In what country would you find a Muscovite? Paul. Russia. You would find a Muscovite in Russia. In Moscow, to be specific. And Paul, that gives you five wedges. All you need is one more. That was another $500 in the studio bank. And here's the next Hot Pursuit question. Hi, I'm Sharisa from Springfield, Illinois. What is the name of the canine Muppet who plays the piano? Chris. Rolf. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. That was a party right. bear. $500 into America's bank. Oh, man. And here's our next auto. Two questions. Hi, I'm Tamara from Brighton, Colorado. What are you afraid of if you suffer from acrophobia? Chris. Crowds. Hi. Paul. Heights. Yes, it's a fear of heights. With that ball. Take on America in the final round. And right now, America's still got a lead. But there's $15,000 up for grabs in the next round, so anyone can win. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Trivia Pursuit America Place. We're here with Paul, the swizzle stick collector, and it's time to play our final round. Yeah. Congratulations, Paul. You made Thank it to the you. final Thanks round. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. Happy to be here. Now, sure. you've got to go head-to-head -head against America. Doesn't, doesn't look that threatening that way. <laughs> well, this is what you're going to do. You're going to get one question from each of these six categories. The first question will be worth $500, and then the values will increase. All the way up to $5,000 for okay. that sixth and final category. Okay. So that's some real money now. That's $15,500 in play. And though America's got uh, a significant little lead right now, you can see that's plenty of money to catch back up with. Absolutely. And of course, you want to get as many of these questions right as you can, because then the money will go in the studio bank. If you get them wrong, money is going into America's bank. And at the end of the game, if America's bank is higher than, uh, than Dan and all mm -hmm. of his friends, those without hats, <laughs> We'll be splitting the money in America's <laughs> bank. And of course, if your bank is highest, then you'll take home all the money in the studio bank. What we have to do, though, is give these categories of value. And to do that, Dan, yeah. I want, uh, <laughs> I need your help. I can't look at you. Okay, Chris. <laughs> I'm going to put these categories into motion. And when you feel uh, lucky, just yell at stop. That will set their order and their value. Stop. All right, so Dan stops classic books in the first position. That'll be worth $500. Next up, it's song duos for a thousand, soccer for two thousand. Coming around to Brando, worth three thousand dollars. World leaders four thousand, and we end up with mountain men uh -huh. <laughs> for five thousand dollars. There you go. 
There's your board. No, no. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Your There's first no question. Classic books for 500. Your question is. Hi, I'm Mason from Las Vegas, Nevada. Who wrote The Last of the Mohicans? We should know that. <laughs> Nathaniel Hawthorne. James Cooper. That's the guy. That's the guy. James Cooper. Cooper. Right. Cooper. Well, that was only $500. $2,500. You know, look at me. America <laughs> has a lead, but yeah, they do. you still got room here. Yeah, so, they do. song duos for $1,000. Your question is. Hi, I'm Andrew Grimm from Los Angeles, California. What duo recorded the hits, You've Got a Friend and You Are My Heaven? Um, uh, uh, quickly. Uh, Sorry, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta Flack and Donnie. Of course, Hathaway. of course, everyone knows that. Yeah. Every, <laughs> no, it's kind of tough. All right. Knows that, but All right. Now, okay. now we got a $2,000 question, we and around now we okay, need to start serious. making some money for the studio here bank here. So, <laughs> soccer for $2,000. Oh, yeah. Your question is: Hi, my name's Angelica, and I'm from Daly City, California. How many minutes does a regulation soccer game last? Mm. 90 minutes. How about 90 minutes? Yes. yes! <laughs> Brando for three thousand dollars. Your question is. Hey, I'm Sage Spinney from Hellcast in Delaware, and here's my question: In what 1951 movie does Marlon Brando bellow for his wife? Stella. That would be a streetcar named Desire. Yes. <laughs> and now you've got the lead. Yes, I have the lead. Look at that. Seventy-five hundred to sixty-four. $4,000, and I can't believe you've come out of nowhere for this. Oh. But if you get this right, you'll win. That's because great. there'll be no way for Dan with his headgear on to come back. I'm okay with that. So, for world leaders, $4,000 okay. and potentially the win, here's your question. Hi, I'm Emory from Phoenix, Arizona, and this is my question Kevin Rudd is the prime minister of what country? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. Australia. Yes! No! Yes! Oh, I can't believe it! Congratulations, sir! Yes! Thank you, sir! Oh, you like it's been a great sport. Learn to bike and all. Yes! Thank you to all your teammates on America's team. Now, Paul, you. you've got $11,500. I do. But we still have another question on the board. Um, there so, is a question. There is a question. So what happens when somebody has won but hasn't yet had a chance to answer all of the questions on the board, you get a chance to answer that question by going double or nothing. You've got $11,500, and you can leave with your winnings right now, or you can risk it by going double or nothing and answering Mountain Men. You'll be playing for $23,000. But if you get it wrong, you are risking it, but you go home with a goose egg. How long do I have to think? It's double or nothing. How long do I have to think? You've got, you've got a point. We have no I, idea what mountain I, I, men is. I, 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 what we do know is you've got eleven thousand five hundred dollars. I bet they're on Mount Rushmore. Do you, you like eleven thousand five hundred? I do like eleven five hundred. If you want to make certain that you keep it, you don't go for double or nothing. I want to keep it, and I'm not going to go for double or nothing. Can I say that? Yes, you can say that. And you'll probably be very smart in doing so. I, I don't know what a mountain man is. You don't know what a mountain man is. Mount Rushmore. I bet it's Mount Rushmore. And you say what? I bet it's Mount Rushmore. You want to find out? Yeah, let's find out. Now, if it was Mount Rushmore, what would you think? I would think, I think I know three out of four, but I always have trouble with that other one. Then it could have been a good decision <laughs> you didn't go. Your question. All right. Mountain men. Hi, I'm Bibi Shonarine from Upland, California. What U.S. president's busts are <laughs> on Mount Rushmore? <laughs> Too bad there's no money for having guessed uh, what the question was about. Yeah, that, what's that? So, so there's like, wait, there's Lincoln. Wait, see? Is that right? Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, there's there's, there's yeah. Roosevelt. Which? Right, right, uh, Teddy. Okay. Right? And there's Jefferson. Yes. And it has to be Washington, right? And those would have been the four. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it would have been $23,000. Nonetheless, you're going to $11,500. Trivial 
Pursuit online, log on to pogo.com. And if you want to send us your questions, log on to your local station's website or tpamericaplays.com.